this is your day of graduation from the Coast Guard Academy, New London, Connecticut. You have just received the degree of Bachelor of Science in Engineering. But even more significant, you've been commissioned an ensign in the United States Coast Guard. Today you embark upon a career of ever-changing pattern in a service that varies from high adventure to prosaic detail, yet always vital to your country, rewarding to yourself. A service of a hundred duties, charged with the mission of protecting life and property, keeping waterways safe and ports secure. Your first assignment will be at sea, your ship, any one of a dozen different types, each concerned with a special role in a far-flung activity. As a newly commissioned ensign, you'll have a host of minor responsibilities. You'll check the ship's heading using navigational instruments of many kinds. You'll supervise the training of enlisted men in such navigational aids as Loran, and in the use of radar. As a watch officer, you write the log, a record of the events of your watch, the living history of your ship. It may be that your ship is on Arctic operations. Here are important military outposts official weather stations. Your assignment, keep the sea lanes open. Help to patrol and protect our northern defenses. During these tours of duty, there's plenty to keep a young officer occupied. From the lift he gives himself in the progress of his career, to the lift he gives others who must look to him for advice and counsel. Here are the beginnings of leadership. It is an ability that goes with you and grows with you throughout your career. As one of your duties, you arrange recreation for the crew. It's a morale booster for every man aboard. For you, an officer at sea, the wardroom is home. Your time at sea varies with the nature of your ship's activity and the distance from home port. On such duty as this, you may be out four or five months, then back to port again. Home from the sea, Respite for the ship and for the men who work and live in it. You went out unseasoned. From now on, there'll be a taste of salt on your tongue. It's a good feeling. There's many another tour of duty to which you, as a Coast Guard officer, may be assigned. This one, a boy tender. It's a tough, hard-working ship. Its work has to do with these markers of the sea. There are close to 40,000 Coast Guard aides to navigation, of which over 20,000 are boys. They convert blank stretches of water into clearly marked highways. Most often you set a new boy, then pick up the old one and take it back to the boy depot for overhaul. Sounds simple enough, until you realize that some of these steel monsters with their gear and sinkers weigh up to 17 tons. Sometimes, if no overhaul is needed, you service them on the spot. A new battery or a new gas tank, and they're ready to go back to work. A light that shows the way. A gong that sounds a warning. Nan Obo Dog Peter, 
This is Nan Mike Yoke. Proceed to assist and pick up survivors from trawler Edda May. Reported sinking 10 miles east of Ambrose Lightship. An order such as this may stop you in your tracks at any moment on any Coast Guard unit. Your mission immediately becomes a mission of mercy. Somewhere a ship is disabled or a plane is down. Lives are in jeopardy. From this moment on, until mission accomplished or relieved by proper authority, your ship is assigned to search and rescue duty. In that duty, you're in constant communication with and under control of the Coast Guard Coordination Center. In this room are gathered information and data on available sources of help. By radio, telephone, teletype, go orders to all craft. Lives are in danger. Proceed and assist. To the Coast Guard goes the credit for countless rescues every year. Executed by proven methods, careful planning, vigilant and skilled men. High among the responsibilities of the Coast Guard is the safeguarding of our ports and of the ships that enter and leave them. This activity could take you aboard any ship, for the Coast Guard is charged with the safety of them all. When you reach the rank of lieutenant, you may be assigned to marine inspection duty. Part of that job is to examine cargoes, papers, equipment, to be sure they are in order. To check all that affects the safety of passengers and crew. Another important area of duty is the searching of certain ships for possible contraband. This vital segment of the Coast Guard port security program is carried out in conjunction with customs and other government agencies. As the representative of the captain of the port, you may board a vessel and direct it to proceed to an isolated anchorage where it will receive a thorough security examination before it's permitted to continue to active areas of the harbor. It may be that you're assigned as commanding officer of a Loran transmitting station. These stations send out long-range radio signals to air and surface craft to guide them over an electronic highway spanning thousands of miles of ocean. Further study in many subjects is a continuing part of your career in the Coast Guard. Some of these studies may bring you back to the academy in connection with one of your regular assignments. Or you may be ordered to any one of a number of accredited schools and colleges for special duty. A two-year course at MIT in naval construction and engineering. A course in law at Georgetown University. Or civil engineering at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Perhaps you go to Scripps Institute at La Jolla, California for two years of study in oceanography. If accounting is your field, you take the course at Ben Franklin University. If it's communications or ordnance, you enroll at the U.S. Naval Postgraduate School at Monterey. While taking this postgraduate work at these famous centers of learning, you live in quarters of your own choosing and continue to draw full pay and allowances. Maybe it's aviation that interests you. If so, early in your career, you might be ordered to the Naval Air Station, Pensacola, Florida, for basic flight training. 
leading to your assignment to one of the Coast Guard air units. huge planes that patrol thousands of miles of seaways. The air units of the Coast Guard are of ever-growing importance, enlarging the scope of its activities and the speed of its aid. The Coast Guard seeks out a man's best abilities and trains him for the job that will use them best. It offers high reward for knowledge and skill and experience. Officer in the Coast Guard, and as an ensign, you go to sea. One tour of sea duty, maybe two. With a half stripe added sometime during the second tour. Lieutenant Junior Grade, engineer on a cutter. Your next assignment, perhaps a station ashore. Maybe public information officer. Rescue coordinator, full lieutenant, instructor at the Coast Guard Academy, passing on your skills to those who will follow. Maybe assigned to an air station. Lieutenant commander, on patrol in Florida waters, or on operations in the Arctic. Commander. Executive officer on a large cutter, maybe even skipper. And then, captain. You don't have to reach four stripes to have had a full and satisfying life in the Coast Guard. But you made it. In command of your own vessel. Member of a proud service. Founded in 1790, yours is the oldest United States seagoing armed force. Fully military, fully active in war or in peace. The possibilities in the Coast Guard are many and varied, and only you set their limits. It's a good life you're embarking on, mister. Glad to have you aboard.